Okay, if I didn't count that wrong, it's 39 sewing projects for this summer. You can sew colorful and fun stuff all year round, but in summer it's more appealing because they bring more colorful fabrics full of patterns and flowers and it's ideal. All of these projects are going to be linked in a list that will be called uh, Summer Sewing. And of course as well, I'm going to be linking them one by one in the description box down below in case to, you want to have a look at just one of them so you don't miss it. And of course, let me know down in the comments if you uh, like one of these, if you've made it, or if I should make something different that I haven't made just yet. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content, and I'll leave you here my Instagram account as well in case you want to have a look. So I love sewing summer dresses like this one. This one has a sheer top and it's lovely. It's really comfortable to wear. And I made three versions. This one with the little uh, ruffles on the top and then I changed for the other two and I made other versions. This one, for example, has only some ribbons as straps that match the sheer top and the flower pattern. And then this one, one has little sleeves and it's a shorter version which is also nice to uh, take your legs for a walk another dress i made three versions of is this one with the ruffle i love an off shoulder something because i think it's really flattering on anyone and it's really nice and cool because it's made out of this really thin cotton although it wrinkles a lot but it's really nice and cool for summer. It has pockets and then ruffles at the bottom. And I made another two, although I think this one is the original one I made. This one is longer, a longer version, and the ruffle is cut on the back, which makes it more comfortable to move. But it's really comfortable as well. And then this one with poplins this one has a bit more structure because the fabric is a bit stiffer and thicker but it's really nice because i made it using scraps i have around from the same pattern but in different colors which you can do to have just some fun a dress I wear a lot is this floral one from a vintage Bulda magazine from 1978, if I don't remember wrong, belonged to my grandma. It was the thing I could, the, the most summery thing I could sew from there, even though it's a pinafore. Uh, in the magazine it's a pinafore, but I did my own version using this cotton. At first, when I got this cotton, I thought it looked a bit of, uh, of a bedding pattern. I don't know why, but I love it. I love the colors and I've worn it so much. And even though it's a pattern magazine, I'm sure you can recreate it, making it yourself, because it's not difficult at all. It has buttons, even though they don't open, because it has an invisible zip on the side. And it has pockets as well. This one is another dress I love, even though I haven't worn it that much because I think I, I did it just at the end of summer or something like that, but it's lovely. Look at this back, eh? Amazing. I love the back, I love the uh, ribbons it has, and of course, all the details it's amazing i base it on one i meant it for my friend well i meant it two in fact because the hemlines were wrong and i love it and it's it's not i mean it's easy to follow you can make it yourself and it's amazing for summer Another one really comfortable is this one I made not long ago, a few weeks ago. It's really comfortable. I based it on ones I was given and it's amazing. It's really nice and cool for summer. I've already worn it a lot and I, I can't ask for anything else really. 
and if you have a special dinner or you needed something a bit dressier what better thing to sew than a shift dress with sparkles the sequin bit give it uh, that little something and I love it because it's also really comfortable you're not constricted at all you can dance in it all night and it's really nice it's a shift dress based on the 60s and it's really easy to make so go ahead and have a go at it Leaving dresses behind, let's go on with this little romper. I love it, I've never had one before and I think it's ideal. It's really comfy of course and I love the stripy fabric because it's super summery. I love how I managed to match the pattern so it goes on, the lines are all together, you don't see any seams there. And it was a fabric I had had for a long time, I didn't know what to do with it until this came to mind. It has facings and I love how the belt uh, goes, the, has the stripes the other way around. It gives it that little bit extra. This skirt I love. I made three of them. I showed them in the what to sew for spring and it's lovely. I ended up opening some side slits because it was a bit constricted, but it's really nice. It's really comfortable. It's really comfortable and I love it with this top. It has a ruffle, it's based on one I saw on ASOS and I love the shape of it and the lining so you don't see any seams at all. One top I only made this week but it's becoming one of my favorites is this uh, silky one. It's really nice, it's like wearing a kami of course and I love it, it's really comfy. It has facings and the lace on top which gives it that little extra bit and the shorts were my husband's. I've, uh, take, I've taken advantage of loads of stuff he doesn't wear anymore because of the different cuts or he wasn't comfortable in them or didn't use anymore so I've been using them. I changed it, I modified it and I've worn it a lot. It's really comfy and it's always good to have an extra pair of shorts. This blouse I made a few summers ago, I think three already, and I love it. It's really comfy and I made it out of this piece of eyelet I got for two or three euros. It was tiny so it wasn't good for anything really, but sewing a bit of uh, shirt material underneath it's good to go. And on this one I based the three dresses I showed you before. This little top I made last year, I love it. It's really vibrant. I got it, uh, I got the fabric for only a euro each piece of remnant, so it was amazing to use and to make the most out of it. It has facings, double the straps just for the sake of it, and I love it. It's really comfy and cool for summer. This little top I made out of my husband's shirt and I love it. One of the plackets, the one with the buttonholes is one of the straps and the one with the buttons is the other. It's elasticated and really comfy as well. Let's change shirts to show you this pair. I love them. They have an elasticated bag, they are high-waisted and they are not too short and they are a bit of an A-line. So it's ideal, it's really comfy and I love it with this halter top I made not long ago. It's really nice, it has a knot on the side and you don't even have to make any uh, armholes because it, the rectangle of fabric when you gather it on top it creates the armhole on its own so it's really good to do. This blouse I called it the pinup blouse and I love it. I love the drop sleeve, I love how the plackets come to make the collar as well with facings and it's ideal. I think it's really summery, it's really elegant and chic and I love the design. 
and this little top I made a few years ago and it's really nice of course and nice and cool because it's a thin fabric again so it's ideal for summer and if summer nights get a bit chilly you can always uh, wear a kimono but these things are so slippery on hangers and they? they're always falling so you see so this one the white one i made out of a manila uh, mandon de manila it's one of those cheap ones nothing to regret and i love it it's really dressy and it gives a lot extra to any look really nice and this one i made this week or last week and it's really nice because i made it out of a shirt i didn't wear it in, anymore so uh, well i never really worn it so uh, I love the fringes, it has fringes on the sleeves and it's really nice as well. And let's go accessories. For summer you can sew really nice summer handbags like this hobo handbag. It's cool, apparently, I didn't know. Which I love. The watermelon slice shape gives it lots of room inside and I love the loops I made and the uh, strap as well. I think it gives it a nice touch. This little handbag I saw last summer and I love it. It's really nice and comfy and I love the bamboo handles. It gives it a nice touch. It has pockets inside and you can either wear it even to the beach or shopping or just for a walk. And this little Boston bag, don't let him fool you because it has lots of room inside. It's quite roomy and I love it. I made it in this faux leather in turquoise and it's really nice. Uh, although my machine had a few problems when sewing it when it came to the straps because it was too many layers and it didn't manage that well. But still, you can make it out of fabric. And more accessories to sew in summer. This little pouch bag, I love it because it has a strap and it's ideal to take to the beach. Uh, I use it to take all my personal stuff like wallet, um, little purse, uh, phone, things like that. You don't want uh, all the sand in them. So you just put it all in your beach bag if you don't have a beach bag with pockets and that way they are not all around the hand back and in plastic you can sew this sunglasses case for the beach as well i love sewing plastic it's really versatile and you can do lots of different stuff with it i use tablecloth plastic is just to cover your uh, table uh, and it's ideal it's true that it sticks to the machine a little bit but at the end you manage well and with the bias tape it looks really good i made three projects in this video and i link them below and of course going on with the uh, beach stuff i have a few projects you can sew for the beach starting uh, i'm still with plastic this one looks terrible because it's been used so much i made it my son was only a year old uh, it's almost four years old and he's used it a lot it was a bag for his beach toys and he's used it a lot so it's i, I should make a new one really <laughs> and then in plastic as well i made this beach bag organizer this is ideal it has different pockets for you to take your uh, cream your uh, sunglasses uh, phone everything so if you have a beach bag that is just a tote you can put this inside like that and you have a whole organizer for it because uh, when i made i realized to do this one after I, I made this one this is a beach bag i lined with plastic all the inside it was quite a job it was really useful we use it a lot and i love it and it's ideal and with the same fabric i also made because ours had broken a cover for our umbrella our uh, sorry our parasol which is uh, really good because it had broken, we didn't have one, so it was ideal. And then, of course, if you want everything too much, you can use the scraps to make a bucket hat, which is really good as well. 
you need to uh, be protected and this is really good and of course it is reversible no excuses for not going to the beach And of course you cannot talk summer without talking about swimming costume. I can't believe I've seen so many. I always have problems sewing lycras, but in the end they work out more or less. So I've sewn quite a few. This one was the first one I made, which is a triangular shape one, a classic one. And I still wear it, it's quite comfortable. And this one I made the same summer, I love. This one is a halter top one, and it's just, it's basically the knicker with two big triangles on top. So it has a very deep v-neck. It's really elegant, I love this one. Then the next year I made one with a ruffle that is really fun and fruity. And then I made this one with an asymmetrical cut. It's, where is it? Oh, that's the bottom. With an asymmetrical cut. It's really nice, really elegant. And what I love about it is that the lining is not a lining, but another uh, swimming costume fabric. So it's reversible, it's really good, and I love it. You can even wear it uh, as a bodysuit if you want for, for a drink or for dinner out, really nice. And then I made these three that I had problems first because uh, I wanted to make it uh, pleated on the side and this one didn't turn out as I wanted it although I you can still wear it then I made a second try in fuchsia which is lovely and then the problem with this one was that the lining was coming out somehow don't know what happened there don't remember <laughs> And then I made one in this Prussia color, which I love. So they are, I wear them, all of them. They are really nice and I love them. And then with the fabric, the fruity fabric I had left, because I had bought a meter, which is a lot, it's crazy. I made this one with some uh, thick elastic band, a glittery one. It's really nice. So you have where to choose, don't you? And if you're at the beach or at the swimming pool and you need to go and get an ice cream, which you always need to, you can always wear this lovely kimono or beach set, beach cover, which is ideal. I made it out of a pair of curtains, curtain material, which it's really good. I love the little detail on the bottom uh, where you can see it would be like the curtain bit. So it's really good, it's really nice. But if this is not your style, if you want something a bit easier to wear, to carry and to put on and take off, you can just add a poncho to your sewing list. It's really nice, comfy, and you get that little bit of coverage to go and get your drink or ice cream. So here are a few of my ideas what I've been sewing during these years for summer. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want me to make something, if you have any new ideas I haven't done yet, just let me know down in the comments as well as if you've done any of this already or are planning to do so. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And you can even share it with someone who might enjoy this content. And I leave you here a link to all the videos. It's going to be called uh, summer sewing, I guess. And then of course, I'm going to be linking all of this one by one below in case you want to have a look at just one of them. So I'll see you next week. Bye.